Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to build uh, your Arduino on a breadboard. And then after that I'm going to show you how to upload any sketches that you have onto your chip while it's connected to the breadboard rather than to the Arduino itself. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to take the chip off of the Arduino, which will use a flathead screwdriver here and we just have to get underneath here to kind of pry it up and do it on both sides so you don't bend the pins oops okay so you can look at that looks like our pins are okay okay now that we have make now that we have the chip out of the Arduino we're going, want, we're going to want to place it into the breadboard. Make sure the little notch here is pointing up. Okay. And then onto the breadboard, we're going to want to uh, bridge the chip across this gap here. Okay. Now, before you press it down, we're going to make sure that the pins are all they're all going to be placed into a hole so that when we do press down they don't get bent and they'll look pretty good. Okay. Okay, so that there we go. Now the chip is in the breadboard. The reason why we want to bridge it across this gap is because if you're not familiar with breadboards, uh, each horizontal line here is is electrically 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 connected. And so we don't want to connect the pins on both sides of this chip. Okay, so this whole row is connected with the first pin. This whole row is connected with the second pin, and so on with all the other pins. Okay, and so that's the reason for that. Now, the other thing we're going to need, we're going to need a 16 megahertz oscillator. Make sure it's 60 megahertz or you won't be able to upload your sketches onto uh, your Arduino. If you have a 20 megahertz chip, I mean 20 megahertz oscillator, it's not going to work. You can run your sketches using 20 megahertz, but you're not going to be able to upload. Um, and so you're going to need this. You're going to place your 60 megahertz oscillator onto pins 9 and 10, which is going to be on your left hand side. And if you're counting down, if the top left pin is pin 1, you count down to pin 9. In here, you see I have a handy little guide which shows me which where it needs to be connected to. So you need to connect it to pins 9 and 10. So any way you can. There we go. Let's press it down. And then we're also going to need to uh, 22 microfarad capacitors. These are ceramic capacitors. We're also going to want to connect these to pins 9 and 10 and then connect them also to ground. So one side pin goes into pin 9 and into ground. Okay. And also with the other one, you want to connect it to pin 10 and then also to ground. All right, now we're also going to want to connect its pin uh, 8, which is the one directly above here, to ground as well. As you can see, there's a label here that says G and D. Just connect that. That's on pin 8. Any way you can. Oops, come on. Just connect that to ground. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get them in. Okay. That's pin 8 to ground. And also on the right hand side, there's another ground right here. That's going to be pin 22. 
So if we, on this side, we count down, and we get to pin 14 on the, on the bottom left, then we start continuing our counting on the bottom, the right hand side, and count up. So it's 15, it's going to be pin 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. So this goes to ground. And pin 20, which is just two down, goes to the voltage, five volts. Okay, and that's really all you need to do to connect that. But you're also going to connect a light. It's an LED, red LED here. We're going to connect it to pin to data pin 13. You can connect it to any data pin, but we're going to use 13, which is right here and we're gonna go down like that onto another row that's not connected to the Arduino and then our LED we're, we're gonna connect it from positive to negative so it goes the negative pin which is usually the shorter pin on an LED goes into ground. Okay. Now that's set up. We're going to want to connect some wires from Arduino to the breadboard because we're going to, in order to upload their sketches, we're going to want to still connect to the computer using your USB right here. And so, oh wait, first off, we need to also connect the the uh, power and the ground on both sides here. And so we just use some jumper wires. So you just connect the positive to the positive. Oops. And then we connect the negative to the negative. Where's my there's Okay. Okay. Now we have some more wires. We're going to want to connect. Uh, first off, we want to connect the RX. This is going to be pin zero on the Arduino to pin two on the uh, chip. And we're also going to want to connect the TX, which is pin 1 on the Arduino, to pin 3 on the chip. And also the reset, which is the one labeled reset on the Arduino, to pin 1 on the chip. Now we connect the ground uh, from the Arduino to the negative. And then for power, 5 volts to the positive. Just like that. Okay, now that's how you set it. That's how you set it up. Now we're going to connect our USB to it and upload a sketch. So we're going to connect this here. Let's see, move it up for a second. Now let's switch over to the computer. Okay, here we are in the sketch we want to upload to the chip. And so you can see we're just going to use a simple blink, uh, blink sketch. We're just going to upload it. And you can see this is what it does. It's going to turn the light on and then it's going to turn it off for whatever we have the delay set so we can set it to half a second each, so it or gets to, it to where it was, doesn't matter. 
and I also need to show you that you need to make sure <coughs> that these are set correctly. Your board, and so in your tools, under board, you need to make sure you have the correct uh, correct uh, chip set. And so right now, the one I'm using for this video is the uh, Uno, but you might have this one, or you might have any of these any of these chips. So make sure you have the right one. Make sure your port is set as well. Mine set to uh, COM9. Just make sure it's it's uh, set and that your programmer is this one. <laughs> okay, so that's all you need to do. And then once you're done with that, just click upload. And it will upload. It first has to compile the sketch. Which takes a second. Then just expand this a bit. Okay, so, well, I had the wrong chip set, that's why it's not. Okay, so you're going to see this AVR dude programmer is not responding. So the reason is because, yeah, I forgot that I actually, I'm actually using this chip right here. I'm not using, I was not using the Uno, I was using the second one. Okay, so you could, don't need, really need to wait for this to finish, just click it again. And it's going to build options changed, rebuilding all. It's going to compile the sketch. This is just from the last time we uploaded it. Do, 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 do. Once it's done compiling, there we go. You should see that and now it's uploaded. Uploaded, so we should be good to go. So that's to show you that you need to have the correct uh, chip set, or else it won't upload. All right, let's go back to the uh, board to show you the light blinking. Okay, so in the previous, previously we'd uploaded the sketch to the chip while the chip was connected to the breadboard. And as you can see, our light is flashing as we instructed it to. Now at this point, we could disconnect the receive and the transmit wires. Uh, that's the reset, the receive and the transmit wires completely from the Arduino and you see that we could when you disconnect the power obviously it stops but when you reconnect the power it continues it starts again flashing the way we wanted it to and at this point you can uh, right now we're powering it through the USB but you could provide your own power and connect these disconnect these wires completely and then you have, then you could uh, have a complete program and circuit on the breadboard itself. And then you could take that and put it in whatever you want, uh, whether you want to make a laser tag system or whatever. And that's how you do it. So hopefully this was useful. And let me know if it was. Let me know. And hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.